We're going to start our breathing segment, but before we start, we want to make sure that we're relaxed and centered. And when we say centered, that means relaxing your mind and relaxing your body. So to begin our breathing segment, we're going to simply play something called the sound bowl. So what I want you to do, find your sweet spot. We'll be talking about the sweet spot later. Some place where you can sit, relax your shoulders, just be comfortable and join us. Before we start with the sound bowl, I want you to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Now I will play the sound bowl. And when I play it, I want you just to close your eyes, relax, let your mind take you wherever you want to be, but just be calm. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Let's begin breathing. Wow. <laughs> I really needed that. Oh, that felt so good. So anytime that you might be feeling stressed or you need to just relax, remember to center yourself. And center yourself means finding a way to relax your body and your mind, just as we did with the sound bowl. My name is Toya Tene Taylor. I'm the executive director for We App. We act, present, and perform the Speak With purpose program in many of Seattle public schools. We're really proud that we're the only public speaking school, or excuse me, only public speaking class offered in many of our schools. This is my awesome team, Miss Sophie. Hi. And Miss Crystal. Hello. Today, our segment is about breathing. And so I'm gonna tell you a really fun fact really quick. First of all, get ready, relax yourself, stand with us, and learn to breathe. Now, why did Ms. Taylor say learn to breathe? Because you'll never believe this, but we are the only animals on the planet that don't breathe correctly. Now, don't, don't be afraid, you're okay, but we're gonna learn how to breathe again. Breathe again. They don't know that song, it's like from the 90s. But anyway, <laughs> ask your parents, they know. All right, so, all other creatures on the earth breathe from where? Where do you think they breathe? From their bellies. From their bellies. Anytime, if you have pets, as many of you do, look at your cat or your dog when they're relaxed and on the floor. You see their bellies going like this when they breathe, right? That's called diaphragm breathing or belly breathing because it's right above the belly button and right beneath the, um, the chest cavity the rib cage area, okay, where your lungs are, right here. That's the proper way to breathe. And somehow, some way, we breathe naturally and properly until we're about five. And I think it's because we start going to school, we start getting a little stressed and anxious, and we start to breathe from where? Our chest. Our chest, right? It's like, <sighs> when do you breathe from your chest? When you're stressed out, scared, anxious, Nervous. Angry. You breathe from your chest. But the natural, healthy way to breathe that relaxes you and helps you think is from the belly, called the diaphragm. So we're going to learn to breathe again today. All right? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yes. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. So what I want you to do, 
you're standing. And we, uh, we stand, this is called our heroic stance. We'll talk about it a little later in some other videos. Heroic stance is your feet are shoulder width apart. Your shoulders are not like this, but really kind of relaxed and in alignment with your feet. Your sternum is high like so, and your chin is up. This allows you to breathe, let it flow. What I want you to do, take your hands, and you're going to put them on the side, not on your hips, but where your rib cage is, right here, because that's where the diaphragm area is, all right? And we're going to learn belly breathing. Now, belly breathing, there I want you to imagine. Imagine that you have a balloon that's in your belly, right? And that balloon is tight. We haven't blown it up yet, but we need to in order to breathe. When you inhale through your nose, you want to watch the balloon or make the balloon expand. So inhale through your nose, from here, not here, and then exhale through your mouth. When you inhale, that balloon expands. When you exhale, that balloon contracts and gets small again, all right? So let's try it. Be relaxed, don't stress. You got this. Hands on your rib area or for some people, they like to see the belly. You can put it right here on your belly, either way. Nice. Here we go. Miss Sophie, can you count us off with the four count? Yeah, Kay. four count sounds great. All right. All right, so we're gonna inhale through our nose. One, two, three, four, exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose. One two, three, four, exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four. We're gonna inhale one more time. Miss Sophie? Yes. Make sure, watch mm. the expansion and then the contraction. Okay, you've got this. Mm -hmm. Take your time, relax. On our next exhale, I want you to exhale on the side. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna inhale through your nose. Exhale on the side. <sighs> Let's do that all together. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale on the side. <sighs> nice. Thanks, Miss Sophie. Now, I still kind of feel like I'm breathing from my chest area. I can feel it. You know, we've been doing this a long time incorrectly, breathing from the chest instead of the belly. So this is a way that really helps you breathe from that diaphragm, all right? So try it with us, okay? We are going to put your hands out in front of you. Relax those shoulders though, all right? Now I want you to gently bend your legs. It's something about the stance that allows your chest to open and then you breathe properly from your belly, okay? Relax those shoulders. And we're going to inhale through our nose. A four count, Miss Sophie. Mm -hmm. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. Inhale through your nose. One. Expand two, that belly. Three, four. Exhale through your mouth. One, two, Three, four. One more time, make sure that you are expanding that belly when you inhale and when you exhale, contract. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're gonna try it for five counts this time. Inhale through your nose, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale through your mouth, one, two, three, four, five. Now gently come up. And the last thing, release those hands and relax those shoulders. I can feel the difference with that one. Mm, me too. All right? So now, we have two ways of breathing properly from our belly, the diaphragm. One other modification is? If you really are struggling with figuring out how to breathe from your diaphragm, I like to lie on the floor on my back 
and actually put a book on top of my stomach and I can really feel when I'm using my diaphragm the pressure against the book when my stomach inhales and then it releases the pressure when I exhale. Nice. So we've learned to properly breathe again. It doesn't happen overnight, so do it at least once a day when you wake up and before you go to sleep. So we've learned to inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouths, belly breathing, using our diaphragms, not our chest breath. And just as we start it, we will end with a sound bowl. Ready? Find your sweet spot. Relax your shoulders. Relax your mind, your body. Inhale through your nose. Deep breath, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Deep breath and exhale. So we're signing off. I'm Miss Toya Tanae Taylor. I'm Miss Sophie. And Miss Crystal. And we're We App. So happy you could join us today. Remember to enjoy life, be true to yourself, speak with purpose until the next time we see each other. Bye.